Okay, I wanted to take a couple of minutes and just go over a few features on WeVideo. Um, you've talked about the stock media and where your media is up here. Um, so you can see some of those things uh, that are up here. And um, yeah, those are just you know places where you can go, the audio, um, where you add transitions between things and backgrounds, which are good for uh, some different things that you use. And so just you know keep in mind where those are. But I wanted to focus in today on a um, specific thing, how to uh, edit a image once you put it in here. So this is an example. Here's an image of a little spaceship I found. And when you double click on it, it'll bring you to this screen. And you can see there's four tabs on here. Um, and this is where you can actually edit images right within uh, we video, which is kind of nice. So say you've got a rocket that's going that way, but I really want it to be going that way or going upside down or whatever, you can sit and rotate it. You can do a flip-flop on it so it's going the other direction. Um, you can do, and then just undo it right here, um, and so on. So you can play around with these. It's pretty simple to do. Um, you can change, this is the fit, you know, does it fit in the screen or is it, you know, make it so that it's a little smaller. Uh, you can scale it so it's smaller or bigger, so you can mess around with it on that side. Um, over here, say you have an image, but you just kind of want to crop some of it. Well, they have, you can actually take and you can crop your image. So maybe I only want to see this much of the image. And now that's all that'll show up when I finish it. Um, then, this is called animation. Um, you can take and make things move, uh, kind of like the Ken Burns effect, they call this. Uh, so you can do the scaling here also. So if I wanted to make it smaller and say I wanted to make this fly across the screen so I could pull it over here, you can just drag it to wherever you want it. And so this is where it is at the start. And then where is it going to be at the end? You know, maybe I want it to get bigger or whatever, but if I just want it to move across the screen and get slightly bigger, I can see what it's going to look like. And you can see how that works. And there's some music playing in the background. So it's a great way to make your still pictures actually have some um, more information to them and, and add to them. And so it's kind of a nice thing to do. And you can also add fades and so on like that. So that's the uh, that one. And then just hit Save Changes. Now I wanted to show you also something um, that is the opacity. Uh, so right now, this picture at this point has got what they call an opacity of 100%. Uh, it's all there. And this button right here, if you look at the down at the bottom, again, just show you that. If you look down here, that middle one will take and it will uh, change the opacity. And so you can take and if you click on it, you can see these lines right along here and you can just click and add lines to it and then you can drag it down or up the opacity so say maybe you want to have some some words coming in here and you want the picture to kind of fade out so if i click uh you can see how i brought it down to almost nothing and then brought it back up so now if i take and wherever this is that's what it that's where it plays so you can kind of see i've got this also moving a little bit and so you can see now it's gotten to this part and so the opacity has gone down to almost nothing. And so it could help your text to stand out, that kind of stuff. So that's a nice little feature. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is a green screen. Um, so here's an example. This is me in the green screen, looking like I'm diving. Um, so you can uh, double click on your green screen picture. And again, you can do this with any picture or movie, double click on it, you get those same tabs. But for the green screen, um, this is where you can take, and this is called the dropper, and you just click on your picture and, and it'll get rid of that color. So that's why a green screen works. Uh, and you can do some adjustments down here if there's some issues, let's defringe if you see a lot of stuff around you, but that one came out pretty good. Um, and then say you wanted to animate that picture so it looked like I was diving into this pool. So I can change myself to be smaller and I could start myself up here and, you know, um, I can have my ending picture be you know, maybe down here, maybe I'll rotate myself a little bit there so I can go back over to the rotate and, and do a little rotation so I look like I'm diving in. I don't know if I can change that to um, do that, but anyways, you get the idea. So you can turn it around and make it look like you're moving. Um, so that was the, uh, so there's the end that starts, uh, I'm going to scale that down a little bit. All right.
and just kind of pay attention to where you put it and then when you click play you will see so it looks kind of like i'm you know diving in and you can make that move faster um, on this waterfalls all right so you know play around with some of those things they're kind of fun um again that's the color keying is where you get rid of the green screen or any color to be honest and then this part here is just colors that's just changing the you know different uh if you want to change your picture to you know fade it out or that kind of stuff all right uh so that's really all i wanted to talk about when you're done with the entire thing you always got to hit the save changes um and you can click up here on finish to finish your uh, video when it's all done all right so that just gives you a couple of quick tips on some uh, extra um, tuning. Again, when you hit finish, click on the uh, click on the Google one right here. Make sure you click it and save it in under Google. Usually SD is fine for these. And um, yeah, then you click the export button. And you can also create a head a front screen for it if you want to have something on the for the main screen uh, that people will see.